and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Bant Midrange. So this is our fourth deck here on our stream tonight where it's a Tuesday where sometimes we do Tier 1 Tuesdays, but uh, as we talked about before with some of the other videos, um, the decks, we've played a lot of the Tier 1 decks already, and the uh, metagame hasn't changed too much. We've had Vampire Escape Shift on top for a while. Uh, so instead today, what, what we're doing is we are playing decklist from this past weekend's Arena Mythic Championship Qualifier. As y'all know, I played Team Elementals. I didn't do too well. But these decks that we're playing were decks that made day two. So they were in the top 128. Um, so I think that means they, were, they had a, a record of 7-2 or better. And so far, all three decks have felt pretty good. And we've done pretty pretty good with all three decks. Uh, a lot of our... Um, lots of our losses have been just like like we haven't really get been getting blown out like we've played a lot of really good games and uh, a lot of our losses could have gone the other way our deck that we're finishing up with here tonight is bant midrange um this there were um a good amount of like bant ramp decks but this was like the most midrange looking of them this was the only one that i saw that had night pack ambusher in it and as y'all know, with like the Ban Arcbow that I've been playing, I, I really like Nightpack Ambusher and Tulsimer together, and I like it with Frilled Mystic. I, I like these these three cards quite a bit, so I wanted to try this list out here. Uh, we got a bunch, whole bunch of Deputy Attentions in here also, a card that's good against Scapeshift and Vampire, so I, I like that, how we have all of those. And Teferi Time Raveler is a pretty neat card to pair with like Frilled Mystic, you know, being able to counter something, bounce it back, counter it some more there um <laughs> thanks bruzy uh you know bouncing crisis all that kind of stuff too one uh, one or two interesting things here that i wanted to point out so look at our two mana mana creatures so there's two druid of the cowl to go with three incubation druid three paradise druid you know whenever i saw that i was like well why don't like shouldn't we just be playing four incubation druid four paradise druid like aren't those just gonna be better than druid of the cowl why do we have that in there and so I, you know, so that was like the question: like, why do we have those in there? And then kind of came to think of, well, right now one of the most played removal spells is Legion's End, and Legion's End does not reward you at all for having uh, creatures that are the same name. So maybe this is just kind of like some Legion's End protection of getting a couple Druid of the Cowl's in there. Also, I thought that was a pretty interesting decision. And plus, Druid of the Cowl is also a good blocker against vampires as well. Like they have their early, like their one drops are like one ones and two ones where Druid can be a good blocker there too. So that's a pretty interesting decision going with a couple Druids. I like it. So that's, that's going to be a one to test out that we'll see how it does. You know, attacking for one means it can also kill a Teferi like where incubation Druid doesn't. Um, besides that, uh, we have a couple of Yulin Drakes in the sideboard. This is a card that I, have not been too big of a fan of that I just don't think it's powerful enough against red. However, maybe I'm wrong. I, just going through a lot of the deck lists, a lot of the blue deck lists were playing Sir Eulen Drakes. Like, you know, if they're doing well and, you know, playing Sir Eulen Drakes, maybe, maybe I'm underrating this card and that I should be having more of it in my blue deck list. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of Vivian Arcbow Ranger, so I'm glad we got some of those here in the sideboard. Um, so that was something, like, like myself, I would have been playing more Devout Decrees instead of Sir Eulen Drakes, you know, that just exile a red permanent. Like, that's that's where I would be going. So it'll be interesting to try, like, to see how, like, these Sir Eulen Drakes do. Um, and there we go. So that's why it's always, that's why it's good to, like, play other deck lists, like, you know, other people's decks that are doing well sometimes, too, so you try out different cards that normally you wouldn't. Like, normally, if I was playing this deck, I'd be like, all right, I want, like, three Devout Decrees because I want to exile you know, Sorens, and I want them against, like, the red decks to take out everything. We got some Sir Eulen Drakes in here. Let's try them out. Okay, uh, that's our deck. We're going to go play in Ranked today because we're doing all these decks in Ranked. And in, in Ranked, going 3-2 and two is is good. Like, that's that's a good record in Ranked. That's winning 60%. Nothing wrong with that. So let's see how this does here. There are some mono red players are playing one heart piercer bow in their decks to deal with Sir Eulen Drake. Wow. wow. Yeah, little Vivian could be could be really nice for this deck. 
uh, you know, how it has Nightpack Ambusher giving all your other creatures flash as well. But I guess there just wasn't really room, I suppose. But yeah, I understand how wanting that card. I understand the wanting that card. It's hard to take out Teferi, though. Teferi is just pretty broken. Wow, what a tough choice. We have to go bottom, though, I think. I mean, I, I would love to have Frilled Mystic on, on turn three and then, Vivi, and then Nissa on turn four. But I don't think that... You know, like, one, we don't have, like, the extra mana for the Nissa, and we don't have white mana for Deputy. I just I think it's a little greedy keeping that there, but I would I would love to play it. But if we don't draw more lands, we're not going to win. Yeah, this could be a good uh, rotation proof kind of deck as well. All right, wish I would have just kept the Frilled Mystic. <laughs> I could have Frilled Mystic and Ambusher. Well, I guess I wouldn't have the Ambusher if I would have kept Mystic. And if they kill the Ambusher, it's not like the end of the world for us. Because usually, like, if they kill the Ambusher, it probably takes their turn and mean that I have not um, to stand down now. Incubation Druid wouldn't die and we'd be able to play Nessa. Nighthouse Markov grows stronger. Ugh. Where's our white mana? I don't I don't really know how we win from here. I, mean, I guess like just drawing white mana and having some deputies, I guess. This is gonna be like the first step. Um mono blue does not have anything against drifting ceratops. You could it's so yeah. I guess you could have Sorcerer Spyglass and just Spyglass name Ceratops so they don't get to give their creature reach. And then try to win a fast game. Uh, that's not a really that great idea. Ugin. I think I'd rather have Ugin than Transmogrifying Wand, even though I know Wand is technically cheaper. Ether Gust works while it's on the stack for a turn. That's that's probably your best option is Ether Gust while it's on the stack. See, I want three Devout Decrees. Where's our Devout Decrees? All right, so we're going to play Decree, Baffling End, Summer, a couple Time Wipes, Extra Tulsimer, Cutting Deputy, And time wipe costs double white. We didn't even have a single white. Deputy slows them down, but they do get to just kill Deputy. Wow, this deck does not have very much white mana. So they only had 10 white sources. Wow. That is not much white mana. Well, Nissa and time wipe do not play well together. Maybe I'm supposed to take out Nissa's, bring in time wipes. Yeah, Nissa's not even that, that great in this matchup anyway. So, yeah, we'll take out Nissa. Um, I don't know if that's that's right, taking out Nissa. There's been many times where I've not liked Frilled Mystic here. All right, so Frilled Mystic. 
one deputy. A Teferi. And just a druid, because I gotta cut something. I'm facing vampires. Gross. Hey, we have white mana. How about that? That was nice for nice of white mana to show up. Danto gone. Ugh. If you threaten Innistrad, Please no 4-4. Four, four. Uh, 3 4 still. Not great. Going crisis here to to try to attack Soren, because you know I I cannot fight the Sanctum Seeker. If I you know just sit back and like try to have an ambusher fight Sanctum Seeker, I mean they it's very obvious that I'll just be having ambusher, and we just played ambusher last turn. Sorry, last game, and so they know to put the counter on the Sanctum Seeker and make it a four five anyway. <clears throat> so that doesn't really help us either. It's like they would just make that thing a 4 5 and we still wouldn't be able to kill it. Alright, well. You cannot hurt my hollow soul. <laughs> Not good. Anyway, Dante, thank you so much for the resub there. Welcome back for half a year. I appreciate that, Dante. Dante. Welcome to the channel. Please no removal, please no removal, please no removal. They don't seem to have removal. You sit back. Yay! Curse your bloodline. Hooray, Soren's gone. There's no way they have any more Sorens.
Get him, Wolf. Get him. Got him. Oh, we had to hit some at zero. It's not like, it's not a you may fight one target creature, it's it fights up to one target creature. Yeah, Tulsimer Ambusher is a very nice combo. That's not ideal. Hey, I tater. Well, I don't know how we're going to deal with this Knight of the Ebon Legion yet. like that. Y'all think that looks better? Instead of the star for what deck we're on? Oh, come on. Another night? Ugh. We're just drawing all lands over here. I have crazies in my deck. I should have played Temple Garden. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a that's a great one drop. So two, so five, eight. Dead. Need to draw a time wipe. Yeah, it is one of the best one drops ever printed. That's that's a good point that it has yeah, it has a passive ability and an active ability activated ability. Dang. That was a whole bunch of lands after we had Tulsimer and uh, night pack ambusher. That was just all lands there. And after looking at the first two openers, I was like sure that this deck did not have enough lands. <laughs> after like those opening hands and everything, I was like, man, 24 is probably not enough mana for this deck. And then Arena is like, well, if you don't think this is enough mana, 
We can show you. You can draw 24 of them. Here you go. <laughs> All right, 0 and 1. Hawkeye. You didn't help me with my draws there, Hawkeye. We just only had lands. Wow. 24 land decks do not draw this many lands very often. Thank you. I want to try to for try to go for turn 3 at Nissa. I don't know if I want another Nissa. Like, we don't even have lands, really, to get rid of. Hey, Sea Wookiees. Definitely glad we didn't keep that other Nissa. I kind of wish I had Ambusher instead of Nissa. Nah, I mean Nissa's still just fine. All right, this is coming around. Two good draw steps there. that just kept on top I don't like that at all ah it's a fairy but sorry I'm late This is honestly just the thing to do. It's only a matter of time. I know it hurts. Here goes nothing. As we don't have like you know, like we still have lethal. That's just the thing to do is get rid of that Teferi though. All right. I was going to be able to, I I didn't want to just minus and do nothing with the minus because I wanted to be able to pick up the frilled mystic um in a future turn if there was just like a, a cast down on the wolf, for example. So if we have summer, tuna gates, and a stroke. I think Arcbow Ranger is supposed to be for like other green matchups. I don't know if Arcbow Ranger is really for this. I do want to take out Incubation Druids. 
And oh god, I have all these deputy detentions. That card's horrendous. Never mind. We need to bring in some other stuff. Forgot about deputy detentions. All right, Arcbow Rangers it is. What do we have as far as creatures in our sideboard we can grab? Not not a ton. Okay. A little worried about the amount of, amount of mana creatures we have in this deck against Kaya's Wrath. But I don't, don't know if I really want two Arcbow Rangers. So yeah, you want a, a just a Delver deck where Ebon Legion's your Delver? Just put put at Ebon Legion with a bunch of counter spells and removal and hand disruption. Just like you know, like Legacy Blue Black Delver. Just any format, just Blue Black Delver, but with Ebon Legion. And you might as well make it Soul Tie so you can play Frilled Mystic and Night Pack Ambusher. Oh, really? Don't know what a Delver deck is. It's probably been the most, yeah, it's like the the most like iconic like mid range controlled or like aggro control deck in the history of Magic. Yeah, it's Delver Secrets is is a blue one drop. That's a one one, but at the beginning of your upkeep, you look at the top card of your library. If it's a if it's a uh, instant or sorcery, you flip it over into a three two flyer, and so it's just it's decks that play that as like a threat plus a lot of disruption like that, you know, because you want a lot of instants and sorceries, and then so you play your one mana card. It turns into a three, a three two, and so you start hitting. You know, you, you start clocking your opponent for three while you just have all this disruption and, and tempo and uh, keep them off balance while your three two kills them in the air. Thinking about the crisis, deciding against the crisis, being like, "Oh, I shouldn't have shocked in." Ah, tap land. On tap land would have been perfect. So I went with Frilled Mystic here, even though that was definitely... A, like, they knew about the Disdainful Strokes. They wanted to try to bait out Disdainful Stroke there. <clears throat> I wanted to go with the Frilled Mystic so that we draw land. We got to go Nyssa, tick up, and have Disdainful Stroke available. We will not fail. I must go. The land fights for us. Hmm. I guess maybe I should have... <clears throat> maybe I should have just Disdainful Stroke to not Frilled mystic I think their last card in hand is Teferi. That's good. It's like, I think their last card in hand is Teferi.
Really looks like our opponent should have taken Disdainful Stroke with one of the Thought Erasures, especially if they have something that gets Disdainful Stroked instead of taking the Arc Bow Ranger. You know, if they, have Kai if they do have Kaya's Wrath or Teferi or anything like that. The, the Arc Bow Ranger didn't really matter. But I guess they don't know that. They don't know that I don't have like anything that good to get in my sideboard. Yeah, I didn't grab the counter spell with I mean they had three chances. They had three thought erasures. Just never did. No, R means that we're playing. It means ranked. We're playing it in ranked. That's what the R means next to the decks. I guess I need to change that to instead of the star. Do y'all like y'all like this arrow more than the star? I guess the arrow probably makes more sense. The carrot. There we go, changed it. We'll get other lands later. We don't necessarily need that one. Elementals. I haven't played enough four color elementals. Right, I've played zero four-color elementals. I need to play some more four-color neoform elementals. I've been thinking about that deck. Thinking I need to play more. I really do not want to see another Risen Reef. Ugh, still that one too. I didn't want to deputy detention Risen Reef. I want I wanted to kill Risen Reef with this thing, but I, I didn't want them to play a one toughness thing that they get back with with Thunderkin Awakener like this. That's really unfortunate. So when they would have like Omnath or just another Awakener, you know, something that wasn't this valuable. Teferi Bouncing Tulsimer is pretty cool, too. No. Man, their deck's so busted with Risen Reef. That card's so busted. Yeah, my opponent's wrecking me. I'm jealous. So this was basically just two mana. Draw three. Better than draw three. Even. Hmm. My best way of winning this is being aggressive. 
Oh, they're ditching lava coil? So we're going to eat up these things. And I'm going to bounce the Risen Reef. So they have to replay it. They have to spend mana on it again. They did a really bad job of hitting lands. Which was good for me. I like having this backup Time Raveler where we can bounce Deputy and exile a bunch of more things if we need to. Yeah, they just did a really bad job of drawing lands. I'll protect you. I think I'd rather show them a second Teferi than second Deputy, if I had to choose one. Showing second Deputy, they're like, oh man, I need more removal for Deputy. Games 2 and 3. <laughs> We're going to make a deck later called a Meta Destroyer. With Soren, Nyssa, Risen Reef, Teferi, Field of the Dead. <laughs> I like it. Wait, can you have... Can you have two... Um, whatever it's called. Two arcane adaptations in play? And so that your creatures are two different creature types. So you can like make all of your creatures elementals and make all of your creatures um, make them all ele elementals and make them all vampires for your Soren. Hey, what's up, Paul? Thanks so much for gifting the sub. I'll gift the sub to a boreal grazer for their awesome idea. Yeah, I love it. Okay, so we're gonna have all this stuff. I gotta figure out what we're taking out. We're taking out, we're just taking out Nyssa again. Bring in Time White, take out Nyssa. I suppose. Kinda want all these cards. Um. I don't. I don't even like how I took out a deputy or a frill mystic. I want to. I want them, but also got a sideboard fast. Got another subscriber. Soda. Soda pot. Welcome, soda pot. Thank you so much, Paul. Paul in such a gifting mood today. Guess Deputy? It could just be Tulsimer. Tulsimer is pretty great, though. Yeah, we'll do this. I forgot to mark it down also. We did, with hitting the 12 hours, or sorry, with hitting this, the first sub goal, there we go, hitting the first sub goal today. <laughs> that's sub goal number 12 towards our next 12 hour stream we're 12 out of 20 there so every 20 sub goals that we hit total I, that's whenever we do the 12 hour stream we're already over halfway there All right, Reef is out of here for good. Which one of these do we want to kill? 
I guess like the flyer. I mean, not sure if like the extra mana, if like, they're gonna have like Krasis where the extra mana. No, not a, another Risen Reef. Ugh. <laughs> Four color LM piles. There we go. Tomorrow on stream. Four color LM piles. LM pyres. Get the elemental vampires. Man, Omnath is just removal plus draw two. That's pretty nice. So, you know, like, sometimes when you have sweepers, you just want to, like, hold on to them for a little bit, see if your opponent plays more stuff, but every creature they play draws a card because of Risen Reef, and every land they play draws a card. Also because of um, the Omnath, so it doesn't really make sense to, to just wait because they'll just draw cards, like, with their lands. I'm expecting them to have, like, Lava Coil in hand here. I'm not expecting this uh, Nightpack Ambusher to do too much for me. But I'll get an attack in for four and make a 3-3. Three, three. But I'm expecting it to get coiled. Ah, Scourger. Gonna scamper around. Ah, no coil. No coil. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We wait till we have one more land. Or no, it's six. Oh, it's six right now, not seven. Right? No, it's seven. Yeah, it's seven. So yeah, if we wait till we have one more land, we get to do this for eight. Tearing this place to the ground. Unless they have an instant. This is ten. I aim and their claws, you're done. This is ten unless they got an instant. Which looks like they do for the deputy. Ah. Killer! Now they get to block Night Pack Ambusher. And they only take three, and then they get to kill Vivian. I should not have attacked with the Ambusher, I guess. I mean, I was going for lethal. Hmm. Wow, double trigger. There. Do four. Ah, time to disappear into the brush. Hmm. This one turned around. So three, six, eight. Those were not very good. Hopefully an eight, eight. Gets us there though.
Are they saying they do not want to trade their 3-5 for my 8-8? They're saying they don't want to make that trade? Or are they saying that they're scared that I have removal and then I get to swing in with Incubation Druid? No, because they, they gain 3 life with the Uroc anyway. Hmm... Could be bad. It's like it's Risen Reef, right? Could be bad. Yeah, like Risen Reef is better than the 2 1 that draws 2. Because if. They get to draw two, but if it's a land, they get to redraw and put a counter on something. So that's a spell. Land, counter on your rock, gain more life. I want to block both of these so that if they have like elementals here, they don't get to like they don't have that risen reef in play. Ugh. Well, both spells could be good for them. They find a removal for Krasis. Yeah, I mean, I, I messed this whole game up with that, with my play. of I, I got so greedy and tried to go for lethal and just really let myself get blown out. And now all this is happening. Had this in hand. Could have been patient. And I was not. Could have just been, could have played it safe. And now we're just drawing lands over here. This game is most likely over. Yeah, Risen Reef broken. Okay. Well, I messed that up. So Devout Decree. Man, there's so many cards I want to play. So, I kind of don't want to play Deputy. Deputy does a good job of, like, the tokens. But it's just vulnerable to a lot of stuff. I don't want to play that. Let's, let's get Devout Decree, Disdainful Stroke, and... This Frilled Mystic. Let's get these in instead. Yeah. Yeah, Deputy's at its best of like a, a bunch of like those little tokens, but yeah, it's it's just gonna die. Oh, 
That's reasonable. Just gotta draw into spells. We'll just time wipe and then hopefully have spells to follow that up with. But you know, this is turn four Wrath. Against the creature deck, turn four Wrath's not bad. <laughs> yeah, same thing. Yeah, I'm right there with you, Devo4. I don't really like Deputy as a card either, but it's just so needed against Escape Shift right now. But yeah, there are so many times where I'm like, ugh, this Deputy. I guess I needed to play Hinterland Harbor to have the ability. To have Frilled Mystic available. But I'm assuming I want to time wipe before I Mystic. There's not really games that they don't have Risen Reef either. But I I the thing that I haven't seen is I haven't seen I haven't seen Neoforms from their deck. But I, I like everything they have going on, but I want four Neoforms in that kind of deck. I don't know if they do have four Neoforms or not. That's the card that I haven't seen from their deck that I would want. You know, like whenever I'm like the The elemental deck that I'm envisioning in my head building. Um, it's a card that I've not seen that I would want. Ugh. No blue mana now. I mean, their deck is still pretty slow. It's pretty vulnerable to aggro. But we are not aggro. Like, their deck has holes. You know, it's not, like, the best deck in the format. But looking good here. When Thunder can awaken her, can just continually attack, and you don't have removal for it, you are in a lot of trouble, especially when there's a Risen Reef. I mean, this is probably Ether Gust, or not Ether Gust, but something. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know. It's probably they got something over here. Or not. Because they shocked in for that earlier. I guess maybe they're just thinking if they hit something off of Leaf Kindred, if they hit like another Leaf Kindred off of Leaf Kindred. I mean, Risen Reef, yeah, I guess it could be Negate, too. Risen Reef could have just been draw a card, the, and that'd still be incredibly good. The whole put the lands into play. That's something else. There's definitely a chance that this is, like, the best kind of thing to be doing after rotation but it does rely it does depend on um that is dependent on uh what the mana is like but we know we know teamer at least has four temples you know you got temple like teamer is a good mana base color like it's a good tri color for mana base with temple of epiphany and temple of mystery 
And they have Paradise Druid available if need be. Stop with the shock lands. I don't want to shock anymore. I want to play Tulsimer with Frilled Mystic next turn, but we have to shock to do that. Well, Dirtly Elemental deck will have four Sir Eulen Drakes in the sideboard. That's where we'll start. If you're not killing your opponent fast, you're not going to beat Elementals. They're going to outgrind you. That match, though, game two, I had it. My opponent drew pretty bad in the mid-game. They just drew a bunch of lands, and I, I could have won that, and I, I went for the win, which threw away the game for me. Needed to be a lot more patient. And I could have got there. Yeah, Elijah, yeah, you can just message me on on here on Twitch. You can message like you know with the with the whisper stuff. You can message me on Discord as well. Um when the easiest thing though if you're doing a donation deck is just you know, you get to type a message whenever you donate. Send send a link to the deck. You know, when you're in your donation just say what what day what time slot like what what slot for second, third, or fourth, and what day you want your deck played, and just a link to the deck, and that's you know very easy. I mean, just to pull it up and and do it then. I start streaming at three Eastern. It's nine right now, so like six hours ago. So I, I stream from three to ten. Eastern each day. I stream so like seven hours a day. You know, sometimes a half hour less, sometimes a half hour more, you know, kinda thing, but Oh, I been streaming for three years now. Um, full time streaming for almost a year, like ten months. I can no longer stand by and watch. Trust me, I have a plan. Here we go. So, what deck did y'all like more? You know, pre-War the Spark, Nexus of Fate, like before Teferi was printed, Nexus, which you know is a, a huge beating, which we all complained about, or or this Bant Scapeshift deck now. I honestly like playing against this deck a lot less than that Nexus deck. This might be a bad idea. Like this card in this deck has just made just makes this thing completely obnoxious. It's 
do a poll. Let's see which one is so which one is worse in your opinion? Which one do you like less? Nexus or or Scape Shift? I'm going to type Nexus or Scape Shift. Which one was worse, do you think? Like, worse to play against. I I really wish I had two white sources here. I only have the one uh, being able to do this plus Deputy. I mean, maybe it's better for me that I save Deputy. But, I mean, I'll be able to play Deputy and then bounce Deputy. But I have to do this now so they don't just get, you know, a bunch of... You know, so they're going to get a bunch of zombies here. Oh, they just have... To, Instant speed time wipe. That's great. Sorry, I'm late. Yeah, that's great. Let's try this. So yeah, I I preferred to play against Nexus because against Nexus, you know, you knew just like, all right, just get enchantment I've removal in there. You. you know, you you could do things like that, like just play a bunch of Cinder Vines, like, like that card was a good answer, but this thing, it's just like, you know, you're like, okay, well, I want sweepers like Legion's End or Deputy, and then they just play like Teferi, and and still even that, it's like, is this even good, you know, really working? Is good enough? Wow, y'all, y'all disliked Nexus more. I don't know. I did. I never really minded Nexus too, or like playing against Nexus as much. I mean, it was a, a pure combo deck, but it's like a, you know, it's basically just like a combo deck that's pretty linear that you know like exactly how to fight it. This it just, it has such a good game, like uh, plan B, plan C, plan D. You know, like when you have like tons and tons of mana and Krasis is like your super backup plan. That's rough. And then it has just the unbeatable combo of having Teferi. And do in instant speed, like end step scape shift that you can't interact I've with at all. Hero thing before. That's, a, that's good, found something to play here. Yeah, only Blood Sun is definitely the best thing, but there's only one color that has Blood Sun. And of course they it's not like they don't have removal for Blood Sun also with this card. But basically every color you could have enchantment removal for Nexus. No, I am not making this up as I go. Or you know like Yeah, like Grixis didn't have enchantment removal, but Grixis had on Mord Ego. Yeah, this card just kind of ruins everything. I, I agree with that statement. <laughs> I've got it. That's more like it. I could see, yeah, Ripper. I, I see what you're saying there. I could see that the people, the people that didn't concede very early to Nexus, thought it was worse. I am not going to sit this. That didn't out. know if they were dead or not, or were trying to hold on to any hope, even though. They were dead, and, and they didn't just concede games against Nexus a lot earlier. I could see that 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 could leave a really bad taste in their mouth, kind of thing. And I could see that. 
Time for plan B. I mean, yeah, how you're saying there, the answers that you're saying for this deck, Assassin's Trophy, Field of Ruin, this kind of stuff, they're not very good answers. They, like, they're hardly answers. There were a lot better answers for Nexus than, like, those things are for this deck. Like, Assassin's Trophy is not, not very good against this deck. Do we have an Assassin's Trophy right now? Even before, like, we would have blown up one of these. Like, well, I think if we, like, an Assassin's Trophy doesn't, would not have stopped our opponent from winning this game. Because even if we get rid of all these things, which we will, they just, they, they're getting four zombies for every land drop. It's hard to do, get rid of those over and over and over again until they're out of lands. I've got it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why, yeah, the cranberries came on here. There's so many zombies. Meow. I... Yeah, I'm not, not a big fan of Ashiok in this matchup. It, the best thing that Ashiok does is... Mills them four, and you can try to get rid of. It's odd. Do they play that after their zombie? They got the eight zombies. That's odd. But anyway, the best thing that it does is exiles four cards and hopefully gets rid of less lands. Oh, I meant to do five. Oh, well. I meant to click that one more time. Oh, well. Still drawing two. Just a little bit less damage towards Teferi, but they have six toughness that they can double block with anyway for the first time. Here we go. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen. Six, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. If we draw one more deputy, I honestly think that we win if we draw another deputy. If we get really lucky and top deck deputy again. That's 27 lands they've gone through. If not win, it'll be pretty hard for our opponent to win. I mean, they'll they just draw Krasis though, I guess. I don't know why they didn't, don't double block with the grazers. You out of time. Deputy. This 
Might be a bad idea. One, two. So I can. Get to draw one more. We have a 5% chance. No. I want to do three. We got a 5% chance here. Exactly 5%. Darn. Okay, a couple time wipes ourself. If they have Teferi in play, these counter spells won't do anything, but I think they're still worth it. And the gate kind of stops scape shift, unless there's Teferi in play. So, kind of. Do not want Nyssa. If they're time wiping, I'm time wiping. We should not have Nyssa. Um... Just trim two mana creatures with all these sweepers also. Incubation Druid being the worst one because it doesn't block a zombie or attack. Unless it's adapted, but that's too late. Um, yeah, for the MCQ decks, just Google um, Magic Arena MCQ decklists. That's like the first thing from the wizard site. It's hard to find otherwise. I don't have the link on me right right now. Okay, so we'll have turn three frilled mystic. That's a good one. That's good, so we can have both of those. That's yeah, that's that's a good one. Alright, we're doing stuff. We're doing stuff over here. I'm not gonna counter a growth spiral. If that's the card there. These were not the top four MCQ decks, but these were four decks that made day two. They were part of the top 128. I don't know exactly how any of them finished up. Yeah, this is good old just flat, regular flash stuff, but we get that ramp in there with the Paradise Druids. We get to start doing this on turn three on the play. Ambusher is a real fast clock. Hmm. 
So they bounce token, draw a card. I get to attack them for seven and hit Teferi for two. I'll protect you. Okay, okay. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. The thing about, like, yeah, we got the Veil out of their hand, but now they can spend... Or like, okay, well, they still played a 3-drop. I was going to say, now they could play a... You know, they would have been able to play Circuitous Route then with having the tap land. I, mean, I need to be worried about time wipe also. So I'm not I'm not playing another thing here. I mean I guess I should just play this thing. Though, yeah, let's play this. I'm known for my excellent time. Trust me, I have a plan. I know I don't get that extra 3-3. Three, three, but we already have three creatures here. Plus a removal spell, plus removal spell. Like if they just try to go blocker route, we're good with removal spells. I could have bounced Mystic. You cannot deputy your own stuff. You can only deputy opponent controls. I know that would be nice to protect from Wrath, like deputying your own ambusher. That'd be nice. You know, hostage. You know, go the hostage taker trick. Oh. Making this up as I go. I didn't bounce the. Yeah, I didn't. I mean, hindsight, I, I guess I should have bounced, but I, I didn't bounce because they had the ability to just play like circuitous route, like play like another field of dead circuitous route, that kind of stuff, and make like a, a, you know, like they could have still just had like a, a decent amount of blockers, but I had, I had deputies, so yeah, I should have just bounced. One of them. Because I had deputy, so even if they, they went the blocker out, yeah, I should I should have bounced. It was it was definitely a mistake not to bounce either the elf or the mystic either one or the the wolf or the mystic either one would have been fine mystic probably better but 
Like here, like we would have Mystic countered the Krasis. Like if we would have bounced, we would have Mystic countered the Krasis. And then they still would have had like the 2 2 to block Mystic. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Ooh, binding is really annoying. I don't have Knight of Autumns in my deck. That's really annoying. Well, at least I'm glad we minus to fairy before it went away. Looks like a scape shift here. Could be Krasis. We'll see how many gain life lands they have. Just one. I mean, I'm. Yeah, if they just grab one, that's not enough. I don't know if they have like, how many more they had. They they had to gain two life. So basically, you know, they knew about the deputy of detention in my hand. So the deputy gets rid of all the tokens. They have the one one to block one of the three threes that we had in play and then we had the three three plus that that drew to the cowl that one power from drew to the cowl was that little bit of extra damage this deck does not have any enchantment rule no knight of autumns i would like i would really like some knight of autumns especially with this card being able to bounce it so yeah ixalan's binding is pretty rough um that's pretty rough Let's let's get this card in play. Let's get this card here. Yeah, I want an Arcbow Ranger actually. I want an Arcbow Ranger over a Krasis. Let's do that. So my thinking like Arcbow Ranger gives me another thread I can play on the battlefield that doesn't get time wiped. Um it also helps like my my creatures get over like Elvish Rejuvenator and stuff like that, and then like that minus five with Arcbow Ranger, putting the Krasis in my sideboard so that <clears throat> the Arcbow Ranger could grab a Krasis, um, can also grab Tulsimer over there. Yeah, like this hand looks a lot better. This this hand does look a lot better than having a second Hydra Krasis. So there we go. All right, they're at six. Well, that's, that's too bad, they just didn't. 
Didn't do anything there. Just let me be on the play. Um, I wouldn't say this is like my favorite deck. I don't, I don't love some of the lack of card choices, but I don't know exactly where to fit them in. The ones, the cards I'd want. That is. <laughs> Thanks, Dollar Tenders. Getting that arc thing, getting this arc bow ranger was a pro gamer move. I'd get out of the way if I were you. Yeah, definitely gotta get out of the way of this Llanowar Elf. It's all Llanowar and Elving. You know, the Time Raveler can, can still bounce it here. I, I think I want to go with Krasis next turn, like just Krasis for two. Next turn, just draw one card. Be able to have two creatures out here. Sure. It's either that or Deputy the Baffling End. No, Deputy, no, Deputy Baffling End doesn't make sense. Not if we're, you know, bouncing deputy. That doesn't make sense. This will be fun. Too many to lands over here. This is the standard band deck with Nissa main deck. Nissa's Nissa's are there's there's Nissa's main deck. I sideboarded them out because I have a couple time wipes and they're playing a bunch of time wipes. And I don't want my lands just getting time wiped, and Nissa lands don't match up that well against zombies anyway. I sideboard them out, but it's not yeah it's not like the regular Bant ramp because this is more mid range with the wolves, and but yeah it's not but yeah it does have. Um, I need to draw a deputy. I know my responsibility. So I could, I was so considering minus five for Arc Bow Ranger. To grab Tulsimer, get some more power out here, to and Tulsimer kill the 1-1. One, one. But I think I, like with how much mana, with all these lands and everything. Let's try this. I think I am going to want to minus 5 the Vivian for another Krasis. So I'm just going to go this way, get this Paradise Druid, allow the Paradise Druid to be able to block for the Rejuvenator. Yes, we yeah. If we baffling end the, or sorry, if we deputy the baffling end, we do we get the dinosaur. So yeah, it, it's considered it's exiled. We get the dinosaur, but then whenever deputy goes away, the baffling end comes back into play and then can exile the dinosaur or something else. Getting this arcbow ranger really, really made this hand though. Glad we played this one arcbow ranger. So right now my sideboard I think has Tulsimer, Krasis, and I think that's about it. it. Has Incubation Druid, but I'm not I'm not grabbing that. I don't think there's anything else in my sideboard. As far as realistic minus five targets. Sir Eulen Drake. Again, not really a realistic one. Yeah, see. I'm thinking my opponent may have be having some connection issues. It was unfortunate. This was a pretty good game here. 
Yeah. That's what it looks like. All right. Well, with having negate, I'm not going to minus five. This will be fun to watch. We're just going to attack. Nothing. All right. Cool. Good game there. Well, it's a good game because they, you know, didn't get to do anything on that. Uh, like, you know, they didn't do anything on turn one, and they took another turn off there. Yes, yeah, so like there's there's definitely things that I really like about this deck, but then other things that I don't necessarily really like. I, I kind of like the, that that Druid of the Cowl thing, how they split up the mana creatures there. That was pretty cool. I, I still think that maybe we have one or two too many. Maybe just like one too many mana creatures. But the whole like, yeah, Teferi with Krasis and Frilled Mystic is is pretty nice. You know, like being, and Deputy, like like that whole thing of like bouncing your own creatures is really, really nice. Um, maybe this isn't really a Nissa deck. But Nissa's pretty pretty broken. Um, it's just a card, just kind of in general. But yeah, N Nipak Ambusher, like Nipak Ambushers and Tulsimer are, are so powerful together. But they did kind of feel out of place. Of I don't have like besides these two things, I didn't have other like flash things to really be playing, like instant speed things to be playing here. Um, So I don't know. It's like I want I want to go further into the the flash part. With this like I really like 3 mana Vivian and I like Arc Arcbow. But if you're playing Arcbow you can't really play Crisis, but like we could be playing 3 mana Vivian, but I don't even know like where you'd fit in 3 mana Vivian. You know, it'd be like maybe instead of Nissa, but then you, I don't think you really have enough power in the deck if you don't have Nissas. You know, it'd be like maybe over man some mana creatures. But, like, I don't know. I don't know. This is, a, this is a tough, tough puzzle to crack here. Um, yeah, it's not really a flash deck. Tulsimer is just awesome. Love, yeah, love Tulsimer. And Ambusher is awesome, especially with Tulsimer. But, like, you know, it, it's just a really strong card. stuff um but yeah this is a pretty interesting deck list here with this one uh that we played here with with band this is pretty interesting um and also just like the vivian minus five being able to grab creatures is pretty interesting too like i wonder if i wonder if we could have like you know, obviously we have the tulsa but maybe we have like an ambusher like the fourth frilled mystic maybe a crazy like that kind of stuff and have like vivian's main I don't I don't know. There's so many different things you can kind of be doing with with the band colors with these creatures. It's it's hard to And like the other thing is like we're not playing like Risen Reef is ridiculously good and like there's just not even Risen Reefs in this this deck. But Risen Reef is just kind of unbelievable. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this deck. <laughs> um Yeah, like I don't yeah, I don't know, Hawkeye. I don't know. Okay. Well, that's going to be it here, though, for the Bant midrange. I've, I've played a similar deck. I'll show you, like, my version that I have. Uh, not the Bant Arc, but one, the Bant Tribal. 
It's kind of similar. I mean, I guess I guess the band Arc Bow is maybe a little bit more similar, but you know, Ambusher, Tulsimer, cop, you know, copy Ambushers, copy Tulsimer, Risen Reefs, cop, you know, copy the Risen Reefs. Go find whichever thing you you want, or get a bunch of Biogenic Uses because that card's pretty cool too. I guess the Arc Bow is probably a little bit more similar though, because this this is the one that has Frilled Mystic. There we go. So yeah, so like this is like you know your ambusher frilled mystic de deputy of detention type stuff, um, where you know like if you have arc bow hitting risen reef or hitting ambusher or hitting frilled mystic, like it's all all good. But you don't really get like crasis is kind of tough to play with arc bow, but maybe you just play crasis anyway because crasis is just awesome, and I don't have to ferry in here because I have risen reef. Maybe, yeah, but. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe that's the thing to do is just make a make it a ninety card deck, and then you can fit everything in there. <laughs> oh, well, a lot of fun stuff to do with the Bant colors. I like I like Bant stuff. Um, but there we go. That was Bant mid range. We'll get back to our deck. If you're watching this video later on YouTube, um, of course you can you know look for Bant Arcbow uh, on the YouTube channel if you want to see me play that or the Bant Tribal if you want to see those. But don't forget to also hit that like and subscribe buttons over there and leave a comment you can say what you think was more annoying scape shift like what's more annoying to play against scape shift right now or nexus you know uh, pre-war the spark what you thought was more annoying um but that's it for me and hawkeye i'm gonna go feed hawkeye now um yeah that's it so thanks for watching bant midrange and i'll see you for the next video